Hi guys, thank you for watching. Um, we're back building the castle. Um, I've been just setting down some markers as we discussed in the last video. Um, I use markers to actually help with the um, getting everything symmetrical and placing stuff. So let's just quickly explain what I'm doing with these markers at the moment. Um, the marker on top of the turrets is one on the other side as well. Um, I just used it for the simple fact of finding the center, easy way to find the center. Because um, what I'm going to do is we're going to build a circle within the turrets around say about that far out so it'll go all the way around and then that'll come up a bit higher to say about yay high about that high something like that um just to give it a bit more of um, a castle sort of feel um but yeah so that's the idea behind that um the ones down the side here the uh ones that are every well every quarter of the way down i suppose i don't know uh, well, yeah, they, they represent a quarter, so each section would represent a quarter, really. Um, but this section here, uh, what I'm thinking of doing, I'm not 100% sure yet. As you see, I marked it in blue as well on the, the face of the wall. Uh, it's exactly the same on the opposite side. Um, I'm possibly going to create a circular turret here, which may or may not, I've not decided yet, actually be wider than the wall itself. So, effectively, you would have something like that but obviously not quite on the scale of that so the wall will come along and then it's something that'll bulge out a section about say about that far it'll bulge out a bit where i've got a turret coming up um but yeah so i'm not quite 100 percent on the what i'm going to do with that yet um but it's just there for if i want to do it in the future um still got the same markers as we had last time there i need to build the entrance way at some point uh probably do that this episode as well uh, but first things first what i'm going to do is i'm going to um set up um, these uh, turret tops. Uh, easiest way to do that is the uh, same way we did the main circles here and the ones we've got down on the ground over there as templates. Um, just use the use Google Google circles for Minecraft and you'll get a map thing that you can reference. Um, yeah, and that's the easiest way to do it. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to crack on with that. Um, I'll build out the outer layers and I'll do a jump cut to show you the different stages of how we do it. Okay, so I'll see you in a second. Hello, back over the jump cut. Okay, so as you can see, what I've done here is um, I've used the circle system again. Um, and if you download the one that I'm thinking of, I might even do, I might plop it on the screen now so you can see it. Um, I'm not sure how I'd do that, but um, basically, I mean, like I say, if you just Google um, Minecraft circles, you'll get a plan. Um, I think I used number 25 for this one, um, I believe, 25 circles. Uh, so basically, all you did there was count out from the center, so it was 13 in that direction, 13 in that direction. So you knew exactly where to start the circle from. And then you just follow the map and it goes round and I've done the other side as well. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to build up the sides. Um, just using now. So I'm going to leave, like I do normally now, I'm going to leave the markers in place. Just so I've got a reference point. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll build this up. Make it look... Try and keep to the same style as what we've already used. Um, and we'll take it from there. So I'll do a jump cut because this is going to be boring now. Me just going around doing this. Um, and I'll catch on the jump cut. Okay. And we're back again. Okay, so what we've done is I've built up the central column, um, the central tower part. And what we're going to do um, is I've decided this will be crenellated as well, similar to the actual um, main turret. Um, the reason why I've, I didn't quite want it to be so big at first, uh, but the reason why I've actually done it as big as it is, it's just so when you're actually down here on the floor, you can actually just see the top. Because um, what we're going to do now is um, I've created again, I've marked out the centre. Um, centre again, with um, another crosshair, another marker set. Again, I've left the um, the markers at the bottom there just for reference again, just in case I need them. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm just going to bring up on my other computer, I'm just bringing up the um, circles. and see if we can find a circle for the centre here, because I'm going to do a smaller central circle here now. Um, just bear me two secs, just need to get my um, pen so I can count some blocks. If you just bear with me two secs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's that going to be like? I think that might be a bit too big actually. So basically, uh, when I look at the circle, um, it, when you look at the circle map thing that I, I've got, um, I'll, what I'll probably do is actually, I'll give you a link in the uh, description. Um, the centre of the circle has got like a 
it doesn't quite look the same as this, uh, but it's got like a crosshair in the centre so you can count the blocks. So I've just counted the in one direction coming from the centre, which is 10. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, and I've got a look and see it'd only be too wide. Um, so that's a bit too big, that one. So let's just find another one that's a bit smaller. This one would be... Oh, sorry. I'm leaning on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight would probably do it actually. Um, was that number fifteen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number fifteen was eight. Sorry, mouse is going all over the place. So let's have a look at what eight would be. So I know it's two in, but I just want to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just double check it was definitely the right size. Um, yeah, I think that'll do it actually. So if we do that, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I thought I might as well just do a quick video of me doing because it's only a small circle this one. So 1, I'm um, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you just place these markers down again, it just gives you an idea of where you're supposed to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right, okay, so that, what we need to do now is you, you go back to the map, you look at the map. Okay, so from the centre, block here, which is this block here, the centre of the um, where the circle will be, um, well, what's the centre of one side of the circle, it shows that there should be two blocks on either side. Okay, so it's two blocks on either side, and then the central one. Okay, so from that two blocks, then it comes in and does two, and then it does one in, and then it does two down but it's in and then down. Um, yeah, and then there should be two blocks here, which might up to the central one. Perfect. So this is generally what you need to do. Um, so it's two in again. Just follow the exact same path that you used last time. So it's two, two, in. Then it's one, in. And then it's two. Um, just to check, yeah, it's two down. And then it should be two, in. And it meets up perfect. Do it again. Two, two. So two, in. Then one. And two down, and then two in. Two, 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 one in, two down, and then two across to match up. And there we go, you've got another circle. So now build this one up, um, same way to do the one. Um, it won't be as tall, I don't think. Um, we'll have a look, in fact, um, let's just do it like this, maybe. Balls. Yeah, so you get the idea of exactly how I do the circles and how I plan it out and how I make it look. Uh, this will not be as tall as um, the other one. I think actually it will only be three blocks high, like this. Um, this generally will just be, I don't know if it'll be a usable space. Well, yeah, it probably will be. Um, but this will probably have a flag on top and, and whatnot, showing that, um, the colours of the uh, city that we're in. Um, just quickly show, after I've just done this, bit around here and then what I'll do is um, after I've just finished this side off we'll crenellate it uh, get it looking pretty cool and then um, I'll start on the other one on the other side um, like I said I've already mapped out the circle on the other side so I know exactly where I need to put the, uh, the structure and I can count the height of it as well it should be no problem at all so let's just have a look at this from the outside uh, maybe it needs to go up a little bit higher actually Maybe another th two or three. What do you think? Good thing about doing it this way is you can just you can always take it off. If it doesn't quite look right. Um, I didn't want to make this central spy a bit too high, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I've I will make a video about this as well. Um, if you've followed my other videos, if you watched me building the city, the survival map, um, I did promise on the actual map that I would release the map. Um, it will be still be re-released, but what what's happening is there's going to be an event running, um, which could possibly be in January. Um, I'm going to speak with the owner of the um, server, uh, Tux2, um, and see what he thinks. But um, I was kind of thinking maybe we won't release it until we've actually had this event to make it a bit more kind of yeah personal to the actual server and what have you. Um, but we'll have to see about that. Um, so at the very latest, it'll be released in January. Um, if not. What I'll do is I'll I'll pop it up on my, uh, up on my website, uh, multray.com, and you can have a look at it on there um, and download it if you choose. 
Um, it won't come with any plugins or anything, so you will have to master, like get your own plugins sorted, and there are things you can download and stuff, I suppose. Um, but the plugins weren't created by me, so I've got no rights to them. Um, they were created by BC Programming, um, and I could speak to him and see if he, he would want to release them as well, um, with giving him full credit and everything, but we'll see. So yeah, so I'm, I kind of like that, actually, now. Gives it a bit more of a um, depth, the tower. Yeah, I like that. It's okay, that. Yeah, so what I'll do is um, I'll jump cut this now, um, and then I'll carry on doing the other side. And once both sides are done, we can have another look and see how we're going to decorate it. Okay, so jump cut. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, we had a bit of a mix-up. Uh, I had a bit of a mix-up. Um, I've lost a bit of footage that I had. Um, for some reason it didn't record properly. Um, so what I've done is uh, I made a bit of a change of heart um, with the central column, the top column. So I've made it smaller. And um, yeah, so I prefer it this way. Um, and I put a flagpole on top. I've also done the other side as well. Um, at the end of the other video that I lost footage on, I was actually stating that I was going to create the other side. Uh, but I've just gone through the footage now and I've lost part of it. Uh, unfortunately, um, which is a bit crap. Um, I've played around with the stairs on the inner walls a little bit. I've added entrances to the tower um, and an entrance to the top tower, which will have a ladder inside, no doubt, to get up to the top. Um, but as far as um, I've just got to put some crenellations around the top of this tower here, and then I'm pretty much done with these side towers. And then I think what we're going to work on next, I'm going to end this video here though, but what we'll work on next is we're going to do the main wall. We're going to do some um, proper kind of decoration and build a gateway into the centre. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave all the markers up for the moment. I've removed all the markers from the towers, um, so they're actually the way they should be now. Uh, yeah, so thank you as always for watching. Um, uh, if you you know if you're a new if you're a new person watching, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, um, and the same to everybody else. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate a like or even a favourite. Um, if you're enjoying the series, it's, we're only up to video. This will be video three, but you know it's got a long way to go yet. Um, there's lots of stuff to do. Um, if you've got some feedback as well about ideas that you want, then let me know. Um, luckily most of the actual building of um, the stuff was recorded and it's still there, um, which is really cool. The only thing you're missing is the fact that I've changed my mind about the top. Um, there's a short video of me showing that I changed my mind and that side I'd need doing and I said, okay, so I'll go across, do this bit and then, you know, I'll do a jump cut again and we'll come back when I've finished. So I came back when I finished, I've just checked the videos because one of the files was extremely small. So I thought that doesn't look right, so I just checked it, and then it records for about five seconds, and then it cuts off, um, which is a bit crap. But what you can do, you can't do anything about it, so just crack on with it. So yeah, so I'll end this video here. Thank you for watching as always, um, and I'll catch you on the next video. Okay, guys, so take care of yourselves, and goodbye.